In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the text out of images that are posted within your Discord bot. So for example, if I post this image right here that says, be sure to like and subscribe, it's going to automatically detect that and then respond with the actual text. Now, this video assumes you already have a bot set up. If so, go ahead and skip to the next section using the YouTube player. But if you don't have a bot set up already, then this is what my main file looks like. I'm going to be basically just importing things right here, and I'm using TypeScript, so I'm importing my TypeScript things like this. If you're using JavaScript, you'd want to import things like this. I'm also using the one-off keys commands command handler to make things a little easier. And one main difference between most of my other videos is that I'm specifying a features directory right here, which is basically just going to have different event listeners. I am forced to specify a commands directory, but there are no commands within this. I just have to specify one, so I do have an empty commands folder. Now, I've made my own image to text.ts file, but if you're using JavaScript, you would use the JS file extension instead. The very first step is to import everything we need. Within JavaScript, we are just going to import create worker from tesseract.js. And if you don't have it installed yet, you can simply install it with tesseract.js right here. This is a standard npm install, which you should be familiar with already. But if you're using TypeScript, you also want to import create worker, but we're also need to reference the client type from Discord.js. Now, next, we're going to export our own function that is going to have a client parameter. Within JavaScript, we're simply going to export a function with client as the parameter. And within TypeScript, we're going to use export default and then also specify the type of client right here, which is why we had to import it on line five. Now, next, we need to export a configuration object so one-off keys commands can actually configure things correctly. This consists of both a DB name and a display name. The DB name will be saved to the database and will never be changed, but users will never see this. The display name will be something that users see all the time and this can be changed. So go ahead and export this depending on if you're using JavaScript or TypeScript, similar to how I have it here. Now inside of our default exported function right up here, the code will be the same no matter if you're using JavaScript or TypeScript, but because I'm using TypeScript, I'm gonna write it inside of this function right here. The first step is to listen for the message create event, and this is going to be an asynchronous callback function, which gives us access to the message that was sent. I'm then going to get the image from message.attachments.first, and this might be null if there was no image provided. So of course, we want to check if there is no image, and if so, we want to return. Now, I like to wrap this inside of a try catch, just in case there are any errors, I can actually properly handle them if need be. And we are going to use the create worker function, which we imported right up here, to create a variable called worker. We can now use await worker.load, and this is why we have asynchronous right here. This is going to perform some setup for the actual worker itself. We now want to load the language. In my case, I'm going to use English, but I do believe this library does support other languages, so you can go ahead and check their documentation for more information on that. Now, here's where we're actually going to call the recognize function and pass in image.url, which is going to be the actual image URL that was sent onto Discord. We're going to get back a data object right here, and inside of that, we do have a text-based property, which we're basically just going to destructure into its own text variable. And now we want to actually terminate the worker itself. And then finally, we can either log the text of the console or we can reply to the text. So if I go ahead and save this, we will see that my bot is now restarting. It says it loaded one listener. So if I go back into Discord and I send this message. It is then going to see the image, be sure to like and subscribe. And then it's going to actually get that text and respond to it right here, all thanks to this simple code right here. Want to improve your Discord bot even further? Click here to check out my other Discord tutorials.